What's really going on, you guys? So, if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Kobe. Make sure y'all like and subscribe because I'm still on the road to 10K. So, make sure y'all liking my videos, sharing my videos because it's about to be a, you know, a lit journey, period. So, today I decided that I'm going to show you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures slash how to be more photogenic. I get a lot of... I get a lot of DMs and comments on my pictures and stuff about, you know, me being photogenic or me how I how I take my pictures slash how I edit them because I edit my my pictures a real certain way because I like like to have my page aesthetically pleasing like I like for it to look really good because that's just how I am. By the way, if you guys haven't in if you haven't already, make sure that y'all follow me on Instagram at really Kobe. It's going to be in the description below. So, first, I'm just going to give you guys some tips on how to be more, how to become photogenic, or how to be more photogenic. You know. So, my number one tip would be be confident. You know, you have to have confidence. So it can show through your pictures, like knowing that you look good. When you make sure y'all get dressed up, you know. Well, you don't even have to get dressed up. Just make sure you look good, cause when you look good, you feel good, and when you feel good, you do good. So that's like my number one advice: stay confident, be confident, because it's gonna show through your pictures. Also, knowing knowing your angles, like I know for me when I was younger. When I was younger and still to this day, I used to, I've always been like in the mirror, always been in the camera, like, I don't know, that's just my thing. So I always done that. So I practice my angles. I practice my angles a lot and I'm always in the camera. So I know which side is my good side. I know which side is my bad side. And it's, I just kind of, I'm used to it now. Also finding the right lighting, like you have to be, in the perfect lighting okay like lighting lightning is everything when you're taking your pictures like when i take my pictures everything has to be down to the t how i need it to be like my outfit has to be right i'm not gonna take a picture without no haircut because i don't know i'm just not gonna do it my haircut i have to have a haircut i have to have a nice outfit my background, I take my background oh so serious. Like I'm I'm not gonna take a picture in no any type of background because it has to match my page. So that's me, that's just me though. But another tip that I would give to you guys was to be if somebody's taking your pictures, if you're taking like a full body picture, take a full body picture with you know, somebody that's gonna help you that you're comfortable with. Like, you wanna make sure whoever is taking your picture, whether it's at a photo shoot, whether you're at the mall with your friends, you're going to the club, you're at school, whatever the case may be, make sure whoever is taking your picture, you're comfortable with them, you know. You're not nervous or whatever the case may be, taking a picture in front of them because who won't wanna take a picture? Who won't want somebody that they don't know like that to take that picture? Like, what? I need to have somebody that I can be comfortable with. Like, a friend. If it's a photographer, I need to... We need to have established a relationship before you start taking my pictures. Because I cannot just get in front of the camera. I cannot just get in front of the camera and start taking pictures. Because I'm just feel, like, awkward. Like, you know, I already can't see myself. So, like... I need somebody who's going to give me positive feedback and I'm going to, you know, what positive feedback or negative feedback and I'm going to feel comfortable with them taking my pictures because the feedback that, you know, I need you to tell me, oh, fix your face. Oh, move back a little bit more. Oh, step over to get in the light. You need somebody to help you do that if they're taking your picture. If you're a person who takes selfies, like I said, angle and light. Make sure y'all know your angles. Make sure you know which side is your good side, which side is your bad side. Me, this side is definitely my good side because of my eyebrow. Like, no, I feel like this side, my skin looks more clear, but like my eyebrow is better on this side. So, 
it just depends. I try to get like at an angle a little bit, you know, so I can give, so I can give, you know, uh, you know. But yeah, that's definitely my tips because being photogenic and it's, you know, I know that everybody isn't photogenic, but you can most definitely learn to be photogenic. Like, you can definitely learn. It's just all about confidence being comfortable with somebody taking your pictures or you know taking pictures in public period me i'm just a picture person i love to take pictures i always have liked to take pictures um i'm not scared to like take pictures in front of a lot of people or you know i'm not scared i'm just not scared to take pictures i like to take pictures i know it might sound a bit conceited or arrogant or whatever the case may be because i like to take pictures i like to take pictures that's just me like probably later on down the line i probably would want to be a model because that's like what i like to do i just like to take pictures i like to get dressed up i like to take pictures yeah so right now i'm basically going to show you guys how i edit my picture the picture that i took is from yeah is like from yesterday i posted it on my instagram already but i said you know what y'all people always asking me how do i edit my pictures so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna do a video on how i edit my pictures because i know a lot of people want to see it so what i'm gonna do is for one i'm gonna put my phone on i think i'm gonna put my phone on airplane mode just because i don't know the whole do not disturb thing I don't think that really works. So I'm gonna put my phone on airplane mode and I'm gonna screen record so I can show you guys the apps that I use and the apps that I use, you know, how I edit them and what the picture is, so forth. Okay guys, so I'm starting to screen record now and it's starting. So basically, as you can see, this I already took the picture, okay? This is Oh, well, this is the picture that I had edited. This is the picture, you guys, that I'm going to show you guys how I edit this picture, okay? This one is like, this one is a one that I had already edited. Like, that's the one before I put the filter on there. So, I'm going to show you guys how I get to that. This is the one that I'm editing. So, basically, I only use two, I use two apps, you know. So my first app that I use is Visco Cam. No, I'm gonna show you guys. The first app that I use is Facetune. Basically, Facetune. I know a lot of people know about Facetune. Let me just put this out there for the people who like to use Facetune and over soften their face and weird stuff like that. Y'all gotta stop. So I use Facetune, and I'm just gonna just add a new one. Oh, okay, so I added the new one, and this is basically what I do. I basically just zoom in, like, I my skin looks fine, you know. I look my skin looks okay, but I still wanted that smooth, smooth effect, you know. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm basically just gonna soften my skin. I used to do this technique where I would tap it to like so it won't be so smooth looking. But since I put like uh, the filters over, it doesn't have so much of a softening effect. So basically, I'm just softening my face, well, smoothing, smoothing my face, making sure everything is just flawless before, after. That's crazy. You can't even really tell that much of a difference, but I can. So after I smooth. I basically go over here and I take my detailing. By the way, I use FaceTime. I use FaceTune one, not two. I really don't know how to use two, but I know a lot of people use two. But I use FaceTune one, and yes, it does cost. But I've been having it like for so long, like since I was like in middle school. I've been having this FaceTune app like been put on, so. Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna take my detailing tool on Facetune, and I just kind of like to go in and detail my shirt. Well, if I have a jewelry, I'll detail all of my jewelry. See, like over here, my earring is hidden. Like you can't even see it in the picture. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm detailing it so it really pops out. 
So you can really see. Let me do my watch where I'm at. And I still want this earring to pop out. So I'm just going to detail it some more. Hot. Okay. And my shirt is a bit wrinkly and it looks a bit dingy. So I'm just going to take my double smoother to really like wipe away all the wrinkles because who wants a wrinkled shirt, you know? This is how you finesse the gram one-on-one. -on -one. They will never know. They will never know about this. So let me tell you the thing that really like, this is something that I have just started doing, but I love how it makes my Instagram look. By the way, I get this technique from Aaliyah Face, Aaliyah's Face, she's on YouTube. I get this from her because I watched her, how she edited her Instagram pictures. So I got this from her, which is basically, I take my whiting tool on Facetune and I just white out my whole background. Like, I just white that shit out, like period. You see, and it's gonna give you that real clean and crisp look. Because most of my Instagram pictures, most of the times when I take pictures, I only take pictures on white walls or a black wall. I'm never going to take a picture in like a front of, in front of a, plus in front of something with like with a lot of color because that just would mess up my aesthetic on my Instagram. So you're never going to see me, you know, take pictures in no colorful scenery or anything like that. Most of the time when I take pictures, it's just a plain background, something that I can most likely white out. So I'm just whitening this out. And I try to get every nook and cranny. Like, I know on Facetune too, you can actually see like, oh, if you're, if you're whitening over something, like, you know, like I might get the whitening tool on my skin and it'll show you, but see that? Okay. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to zoom in. Look at that little mustache hair. That little chin hair. Oh, gosh. I'm just trying to make sure I don't have anything on my skin. Any whitening on my skin because I don't want it to look like that. So, basically, this is the before and after. Hold on. I'm missing a spot. Right there behind my head. So yeah, I'm just making sure everything is still white out. Okay, so basically this is the before and after picture. Well, the before and after of the white background. So this is before and this is after I add the white, the whitening tool from Facetune on to my picture. Boom. You see how clean and crisp that looks like? It looks good, right? So that's that. Also some... Also, sometime like right now, my hair in this picture looks more yellow. Like, it's more of a yellow tone. For me, in real life, I like for my hair to be like platinum, like damn near white. So, I'm also going to take my whitening tool and I'm just going to run this across my head just a little bit. Like, nothing even major. You see that? It's definitely taking away some of those white. I mean, some of those yellow tones in the picture. So let me zoom out so you can see. See, you can see that it's blonde, but you can also see that it has white tones in it and it's not blending in with the background. So that's that. Let's see. Let's see. That's pretty much it for that. I really don't, I don't have that much that I do on Facetune besides the softening, make sure my skin is good. If I was smiling on a picture, I probably would whiten my teeth or something like that. But I definitely always, anytime I take a picture with a white background, I always whiten out the background even more. That way it can be crisp and clean. So I'm pretty much going to save this picture and I'm going to go to my Visco app. I use Visco, by the way. That's the only other app I use besides Facetune. Visco. And yeah, you can see my old pictures. Basically, one of the ones I edit, I have the one that I did edit, the one that's on my Instagram is still here, but I'm going to show you guys from scratch. So, I'm going to take this picture. This is it.
So this is really, oh, I know what I forgot to do, y'all. Let me tell y'all. This is what I forgot to do. Take my detailing tool and detail my eyes. I think that detailing your eyes really makes them like pop out. Like, see, before, like it looked like, oh, I'm looking, but you can't really tell that I'm looking, looking. Now, when I, when I add the detail on there, this shit is hot. Like, so now I'm gonna save this one and then I'm gonna go back and add it to Visco so I can edit my picture. So I'm importing this and I'm adding it on here. Visco, it has like a lot of, how do you even get to it? Like it just has a lot of, uh, a lot of filters that you can use, but a lot of them, mostly of them cost, but I can show you a finesse way if it allows me to. Okay, anyway, it didn't allow me to, so basically this is the fun part well it's all fun to me because it's, who doesn't want to you know have fun editing some pictures so the first thing i do once i get on visco is if the picture is a bit bright so i'm gonna darken it down i'm gonna you know darken it down with the exposure tool and add sharpness to it that way it has more I'm gonna add the sharp I'm gonna add the sharpening tool to make sure it has more of a more of a what is it called what is it called a more professional look so I'm putting a sharpening tool on 3.5 I think that's all I need is a good 3.5 I'm also gonna add a bit of saturation just literally a little bit that way I don't look washed out and I'm gonna put that on three after I do that this is what really really like it's two things that really make my pictures original I don't even use filters I basically make my own filter okay so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take the temperature and put it down so it could be more of a cool tone because most of the pictures on my page are cool tone pictures no like sun kiss none of that like it's all cool tone so I'm taking the temperature down and I put it on negative one, just one. You're like, I don't even need that much because then I'm just going to be looking crazy and I'm just going to look blue. After I do the whitening, I go over here and I take my skin tone tool, which makes you either look really red or really yellow. And I think I want to be a tad bit red. So I'm going to put it on 1.5 and this right here, the grain effect hot love it i i like the green effect because it makes my pictures look really like vintage like i guess and i'm just gonna put this and i'm just gonna play with it i don't really have like a specific number that i put it on i just kind of play with it but today it looks like i can use a 6.5 you see that we're getting somewhere you see you see that okay and i'm gonna add I'm gonna fade it out. Is my okay? I think it's. A, I'm just gonna put the fade on six. I'm gonna put that bitch on six, okay? And yeah, wait. I kind of just play with it though. Like this is pretty much what I do. I just play with it. Something's missing from it. It's not giving me that oomph that I usually have. But I really don't like to over edit. Sometimes I like I like to take the tone setting and the shadows. It just basically add it basically adds like more fading to my pictures. And yeah, let's see. It's a bit dark, so what I'm gonna do is I really don't want to brighten it up because I don't want it too bright. So I think I'm just probably gonna leave it like this. So this is pretty much the finishing touch, you guys. So that is how I edit my pictures. If you guys want to know how I get my captions, I listen to music all day long. So every time I listen to a song, I put it in my notes and I use it. I, I put it in my notes and I use it. If it's a hot ass bar, I put it in my notes and I use it for my next picture. But it just depends on what the picture is. 
So that's pretty much it, you guys. That's pretty much how I edit my Instagram pictures and all of my tips on how to be photogenic, how to stay photogenic, and you know, yeah, make sure y'all finesse on the gram and look good at all costs because you know. Social media is powerful these days. You don't want somebody to go to your page and you just, you just your pictures are, you know, crazy weird or something like that. I don't know. Whatever fits you. But me personally, social media is powerful. I don't know who might come across my page one day. Tyra Banks might come across my page and she might say, you you are something else. I need, I need to have you. Your pictures are great. So, yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at ReallyKobe. I will. I'm going to put it in the description below. So, make sure y'all click the link and follow me. Make sure y'all subscribe, share my videos, like my videos, and do what y'all got to do. Because we're still on the road to 10K, baby. And I'm not stopping and I'm not letting up until I meet my goal. So, that's it, you guys. I'm out.